What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel! So for tonight's video, today's video, well, I'm filming this at night, so it's tonight's video. So for tonight's video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my nighttime skincare routine for combination and oily skin. So for acne prone skin. Like my skin! Yeah, Um. so this is a very, very highly requested video, so I decided to make this one for y'all because I love ya. I'm gonna show you guys my nighttime skincare routine. So, I don't have a day skincare routine, so this is the only skincare routine I'll be able to show you guys. The one I do before I go to sleep. So, I am not an expert. I am not a dermatologist. Um, I'm just showing you the products that I use every night and um, if I say that they work for me, it doesn't entirely mean that it's going to work for you. But we could pray that it would work for you too. So if you're interested and want to know what products I use every night, then keep on watching. So for my skincare routine, I have three staple products. And the others are just um, whenever I'm in the mood to use them. But I use three staple products every night. So I'm going to show you guys which are the staple ones and which are the ones that I don't use every night. Yeah. So, let's get started with the video. Skin's not perfect, but it has progressed from a very, very, very bad state. If you haven't watched my truth about my acne video, you could see it down there. I'm gonna put the link on my bio so you could catch up on the history of my face. But yeah, it's... My skin has improved. Um, a lot. Okay, so let's start with the skincare routine. What's this? The product that I use first when I start my skincare routine is the Nivea Whip Foam Acne Clear Caring Cleanser. How did I discover this product? I just saw it. We were at the grocery. It said Acne Clear, so I bought it because I'm prone to acne. And so far, so good. So it says that it removes oil and dirt for clear, baby soft, and smooth skin. <sighs> yeah, it's a thick soft baby skin. Oh, this is my third pack of this product because I really, really like it because I usually break out from different um, facial cleansers. But, but thank God that this one works. So this is part of the top three staple products I use in my skincare routine. So yeah, this is the Nivea Acne Clear Whip Foam Caring Whip Foam Caring Cleanser. Next is um so this is not part of my top three, but I use it every other day. This is the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub, which is notoriously known for helping um acne go away. Which it usually works on me, but other people say that it doesn't work, but for me it does. I used to use this every day, but now I'm more on um, every other day when I feel like it. So yeah, this works for acne prone skin as well. So I really recommend this. Um, it's a face scrub. I should target this part when using it and also this part because uh, I'm prone to blackheads here and whiteheads here. So I use that to um, exfoliate those parts, sometimes here. To take away my acne marks, acne scars. So yeah, I use that. Showing you guys my step-by-step -step routine if I'm using all of the products. Okay. Right after cleansing and exfoliating, I use toner. This is um, Tian Dickinson's Witch Hazel Natural Astringent. I got this from Healthy Options. I use this for toner. It helps my acne scars I think it prevents acne from continuing I think or it just balances the pH levels on my face I don't know but this is what I use for my toner and it's it's a hundred percent I think there's no alcohol in this but um, this is very nice for oily and acne prone skins so yeah this is what I use to tone out my face after toning um, I moisturize there's this common myth that says that says that if you're oily or if you have combination skin you should not moisturize because your face is already oily but that's not true 
because if you don't moisturize after you tone your skin will get dried up for a while but will also double the amount of oil on your face since your face is already dry therefore your skin will think that it should double the amount of oil that it's releasing since your skin's dry therefore you get double the oil on your face therefore after toning you must moisturize even if you're oily or have combi skin so my moisturizer is from Cetaphil so this is the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion for face and body for all skin types it is lightweight and it's best for everyday use and it's fragrance free my mom brought this home from Singapore I saw one of these in SNR so you could avail that there yeah so I use it on my face because one thing I was researching for the best moisturizers for combo and oily skin um, and Cetaphil popped out so yeah that's the moisturizer I use for my face now and it's working so far so yeah right after that um, I have Vaseline petroleum jelly this is for my lips because I hate having cracked lips in the morning I hate the way it looks when you put on lipstick and then your then your lips are super dry so we should use this every night to moisturize our lips because we need that shit last product that I use I use like every other day no like I use like thrice a week twice a week so yeah this, you've heard of this this is the Aztec secret Indian healing clay face mask and yeah it's the one that was so hyped that helps your skin and everything yeah it works because it worked on me um, whenever I have whenever I have a developing pimple I always put on this mask and it doesn't continue it does not want to go on my face anymore because of this magic mask so yeah I recommend this a hundred percent yeah my three staple products for my night time skin care routine is the Nivea acne clear caring cleanser the witch hazel toner and the Cetaphil moisturizing lotion these are my top three when I am super lazy to do to do everything else at least do these three every single night because I need that for my skin to love me and not betray me and cause more pimples so yeah that's what I use so yeah that is the end of my skincare routine video I hope you guys liked this video I hope I answered all your questions and if, and if I haven't you could drop a question down below this video or you could just message me on my social media at Lizards and everywhere and also give me a follow since you're already here please do give me this video a thumbs up please do subscribe to my channel it's right there and also click the notification bell so that you could get a notification every time I post a new video and oh well so that's the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one and take care. Bye!